Hi, I'm Disciplined Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to get gains from resistance bands. I get so many questions about how to correlate weights when it comes to bands, how many reps, all these different things, and we're going to answer those today. Now, before we get started, I just want to inform everyone that we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers, and you know what that means, giveaway time. I have some prizes that value over $200, so make sure that you hit that notification bell so you're aware of when the giveaway is. Now, just to give yourself a little head start, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you've been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet, now is a good time because I got the giveaway coming up. That's gonna be one of the requirements and the other one's gonna be follow me on Instagram at Discipline Dave. Now let's get to what we're all here for. We wanna see gains. We wanna make sure our chest is popping. We want bigger biceps and people wanna do that with resistance bands at home. Because of right now, a lot of people can't go to the gym, don't want to go to the gym, just starting out, and you're a little bit hesitant of going to the gym. This video is for you. Also, make sure you watch to the end because I got a little bonus tip right there at the end. So watch this all the way through so you can understand all the ins and outs to get the most benefit from using resistance bands. Tip number one, use high repetition. High repetition is going to be key to making sure that you get great form when you're doing your exercises. So when you're doing high repetition, this is going to make it so that you get into that fat burning zone and put your heart rate up. Now, David, you say I'm here for gains. So when it comes to gains, when you're getting that blood pumping and that blood is going through your muscles there, that's really going to create this effect to make it so that you can get maximum growth out of your muscles. But don't only stick with high repetition, which brings us to number two, partials. Partials are another good benefit when it comes to using resistance bands. You see, your body's gonna get used to doing certain exercises. So when it comes to doing high repetition, you don't wanna do that all the time you wanna go ahead and switch to what I call partials. And when it comes to partials, I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So I'm gonna use this band here. All right, so this is what I mean by partials. So I'm gonna use this as an example. And you can do this with all the exercises that are available on my channel, is that we're gonna come up partially here. So we're doing a curl and we start off right here, just going up a little bit. And then we're gonna go midway, just like that. And then we're gonna go all the way. That's another way to get your muscles shocked so that way they can increase their growth. So when you do a partial and you're only coming up like halfway in the exercise, what it's doing is it's keeping that blood right there into the muscle there and the blood is gonna lead to good gains and growth to your muscles. So those partials are very important to switch it up. How often? I would say about every month you wanna switch up your routine when it comes to those high repetitions and partials. That's gonna get us to tip number three. Now the third way you need to be switching up your routines is that going heavy. Now we talked about going light at high repetition, we talked about partials, but heavy is really where those muscles are going to grow and you're going to see those gains. So when I say heavy, you're going to do lower repetition than you do normally, but you're going to still keep great form and great technique but you're gonna add a band on there. You're really gonna push it out. So going heavy is key. So remember, light high repetition, partials, and heavy. Switch those up about every month or so. Tip number four. It's all about holding. So when you're coming up and you're doing those bicep curls, I want you to hold five seconds. Come back down. Go up and hold. That static movement where you're holding right there, it's gonna be very challenging when you're using resistance bands. Make sure that you do that also. All that variety when it comes to working out with the bands, you're really gonna benefit and see those gains in there. Don't keep doing the same exercise over and over again. Your body's gonna get used to it. It's gonna become normal to you. You're gonna get mundane with it. And the body, our bodies adjust to things very easily. 
So we need to make sure that we shock it each time. You should have the feeling of intensity where your butt is getting kicked every single time you work out. Make sure you keep that in mind. That intensity is so key along with that consistency. That is so important to make sure that you see the full benefits of resistance bands. And finally, the most important, the most asked question I have on the channel. I get asked this so many times, comments here, 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 all the time about this. David, how many reps do I do? How many sets do I do? Here I'm about to tell you something very key when it comes to resistance bands. The numbers don't matter, okay? None of the numbers matter. I know that's kind of difficult to hear. People want that preset program, but everyone's at different levels. Everyone has started at different times when it comes to fitness, when it comes to genetics. So it's gonna be more about feel. I know everybody wants a one size fits all when it comes to fitness, but there is no biological fairness. It's gonna be different for everyone. So as you see on my channel, when I get those questions, I give you a general idea when it comes to reps, but I don't harp on them. Because if you're focusing on a number, it doesn't mean that you've gotten a good workout when it comes to it. Now, I'm gonna show you here on my chest video what I mean by the numbers don't matter. As you see, when I'm doing this workout, when I get towards the end, I'm very much struggling when I'm doing that set there. You should feel that way every single set. You wanna go until it's impossible to do another one. You wanna make sure that you get the most out of doing that exercise. So it's more about feel. So don't sacrifice form. When you're doing a cable fly, when you're doing a bicep curl, the numbers are a guide, but they're not the rule. But I don't want you to think numbers. I want you to think, how do I feel? Am I giving everything I got? Ask yourself honestly, Am I doing everything possible to make sure that I'm squeezing all my muscle fibers? I'm using everything. And when I get down to it, I can't possibly close or complete the exercise. That's where you wanna be. Now, if you're doing that past 20 reps and you just keep going and it's easy all day, it's a good time to go up, okay? Go up and wait. But what I'm telling you is that the numbers are a guide, not the rule. Don't worry about the number. You need to go with how you feel. There's gonna be some days where you're not into it as much, and some days you are. That's reason why there's reps and sets when it comes to some of these exercises, but they're just a guide there. If you see something on there that says 10 to 15, or I respond to a question 10 to 15 there, you don't just stop at 15. If you can go to 15, keep going. Keep going until you completely exhaust the muscle. That is the key to get the true benefit of using resistance bands. So make sure of anything, out of everything you see, make sure you're giving your maximum effort. Don't worry about the numbers. Don't even worry about these numbers. Don't worry about the numbers that are on here. Don't try to match these up with dumbbells. Oh, I do 30 pounds in the gym. I can do 30 pounds on a band. No, because those resistance is gonna vary whether you step forward a little bit more, if you step backwards, but make sure that when you're doing the exercise, that that's what counts and not the numbers. Now, I promised that there was gonna be a bonus at the end. The bonus is something that is outside the resistance band world. It's all about eating right with nutrition. I developed a free meal plan. I have a link down in the description below. It is absolutely free, no strings attached. You click it, you get the meal plan. If you're a visual learner out there, if you don't like reading about a meal plan or anything like that, I've created a whole video called What to Eat. It tells you everything in detail. And then you can still get the free meal plan that's all available for you. Because nutrition is gonna be the key to getting your results. You need to fuel your body, making sure that you're in a calorie deficit. But hey, I've already spoke too much. Watch the video, all right? Now this completes our five tips when it comes to getting gains through resistance bands. Now make sure, again, follow me on Instagram so that you can go ahead and be ahead of the curve when it comes to the contest. Less than 5,000 subscribers away. I think we're gonna hit it soon with your help. If you're watching right now, make sure that you subscribe. 
check out that meal plan. And thank you, thank you so much for watching. Until next week, I'll have another video for you. And remember, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique.